Welcome back to another Handyman Land video. Today's video is the installation and instruction video on the automatic chicken coop door. Well, it's been quite some time that I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these automatic chicken coop doors because it's not easy to get up every single morning to open up the chicken coop door for the hens. Sometimes it's just winter time or it's raining and when it opens automatic, the hens are even happier because they're not waiting for you now. And if you ever seen hens when you haven't opened up the door yet and they've been waiting for you, they're not happy campers. So let's walk on over to the workshop so I can show you what I received. Excuse me, ladies. Okay, so here's my roller shutter door, automatic chicken coop door. What's unique about this door is that the style of it is a shutter. So basically, when you open up your door, the door is actually rolling into a compartment. Now, there's other style doors out there where it's just a sheet of metal and it goes up and down. So when you're building a chicken coop, if you didn't make the clearance for that door to go up and down, then you're gonna have problems. This style here, it just rolls into a compartment and is out of the way. Now let's open up our package here. Okay. It's nice. Now here we have our instruction manual. Take all these out, then we'll talk about them. And our product comes from Farm Poultry Gear. And our product comes with a nice size solar panel, one display screen, a USB charging cable with a 2.5 millimeter plug. Our cable's 29 inches in length, our solar panel pole, one remote control, and of course our electric coop shutter. Also, I wanna point out, this is the front of your automatic chicken coop door, not this side. Now there is a little bit of power in your solar panel here, but we'll be connecting it to my portable power station. Now let's power this up. And on the back side here, you can see that little LED that's in there is an indication that your batteries in your solar panel are charging. Also, another thing I wanna point out, your two right angle 2.1 millimeter come with two rubber o-rings and the o-rings are to prevent water from getting into your connection now let's make some of our connections here and here we have our remote control reception here's our photoreceptor better known as a light sensor our power switch our mold switch also, you can mount your display screen at the top of your electric coupe shutter, like so. And then on the side here, you just plug it in. But in my case, I'll be doing things a little differently here. I'll be adding a male and female extension cable to my setup. Also, adding an extender cable is optional. You do not need to do this. In my case, my chicken coop door is on one side and the sun rises on the opposite side. So I'll be moving my display screen so the photoreceptor can catch the sun early in the morning when it's rising. And if you're adding an extender cable, I strongly suggest you also add an O-ring to the plug side of your connection. Let's go ahead and make our connections. Just to show you real quick how everything's connected. Now to turn it on, press and hold your power switch for three seconds. Now our chicken coop door is on the open position. So you wanna press your power switch one time. 
to close your door. And this is how you manually open and close the door. Now on your remote control, go ahead and remove this plastic tab. And on is to open your door and off is to close your door. Now go ahead and aim it towards your remote control reception and press on. Now go ahead and press off. And for those of you that are a little concerned, what if my hand is standing in the way while it's closing? Don't worry about that. It will automatically open if it senses something it's in its way. Okay, so everyone knows here it says on, on indicates the door to open, off indicates the door to close. Can you see that there? There you go. Okay, let's turn on our display. Press and hold for three seconds. Now it's on our timer setting. We want our clock setting. So let's press and hold set. There you go. That's hours. Let's change the hour to one. Press and hold for a minute. Just say it's 110, press and hold. So we want our timer to come back. So on, so let's just say on is open. So let's put it at one, oh, went too far. Twelve. At one twelve, our door will open. And at one twelve, it opened exactly at one twelve. Now we want to set it to close. So hit set again. You got to continue hitting set until you get to the off. One more should do it. There you go, off. Oh, went too far. Minutes. Now at 1.15, our door should close. So we got two minutes. Let's just wait here. And exactly at 1.15, the door closed. And when you have it set to close, and you see it close, but then opens for a brief second, then closes. Don't worry, that's perfectly normal. It's just readjusting itself. Also, you see the number 26 here. That is a light indicator of how much light it's receiving. If you place your hand over the light sensor, the number will drop, eventually dropping down to zero. And the highest it will go is 26. And when you want to switch from timing to light sensing, just press and hold the mode button for three seconds, which is the green button with the arrow. And here's how you do it. Press and hold. There you go. Right now I have my hand over the light sensor. Once I remove my hand, the display will automatically think that the sun came out. It will take a few seconds for this. Now I'll put place my hand over the light sensor again. Give it a few seconds. The door will close and it might open a little bit, then completely close the second time around. And 
And there you have it. It is closed for the night. It's the next morning and I'm going to show you the chicken coop door that I've been using that I made quite some time ago and show you how it actually works. And how my chicken coop door works is I pull down on this cable here and when I release it, if you see my door there, it locked. So let me take you inside the coop so you can see better the door. So how I have the door, here's the cable. I have it running up. And then when I pull the lever down or up, the door swings open or close. Here I have a magnet so it stays closed. As you can see. It's pretty simple. But coming out every morning to open up the coop door, sometimes it's raining, it's snowing, or you just want to sleep in. And the automatic chicken coop door will be a huge game changer. So what I'll be doing is taking some measurements so I can swap out my custom made door to my new automatic chicken coop door. And here I have a sheet of plywood. So what we will be doing is transferring the measurements to our automatic chicken coop door onto our plywood. And first things first, let's disconnect our custom door. Show you on the inside here. That's the bolt that's holding it to let it swing back and forth. Just taking some measurements. Oh yeah, we're good. After taking some measurements, I know that I need at least two inches at the bottom of clearance there. So let's make a line. Now what I've done, I just laid my automatic chicken coop door on the plywood. I have my two inch mark. I have my two inch mark on the left side and the right side. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to trace the inside first. Then we're going to trace the outside. As you can see here, what you want to do is trace right there and on the outside right here. And I suggest you take a clamp or clamp your plywood down or somehow just you need to hold it down so it doesn't move on you because you want to get these measurements as square as possible. Okay, let's remove this out the way. So these are our measurements here. So from here to there, we're cutting that out. We're cutting that out. So this is being cut out. This is being cut out. And the next step is to cut out the shape that we drew out of our measurements of the chicken coop door. Make sure you have your board clamp. You're going to need a drill and a jigsaw for this. So what we're going to do is just drill a hole so we could get our jigsaw blade in. And here's a quick tip. Once you made a small little hole, what you wanna do is now drill from the opposite side so you don't destroy your board. There you go. And once you start making your cut, you want to cut on the outside of the line.
Don't worry girls, your door is almost done. We have breakfast. Okay, we have our cutout. Let's see if it fits. Nice. So that's what we're looking for. Now let's screw in our door. So I have only a couple screws in right now. I want to test it first to ensure that um, I don't have the door not squared. Give it a few seconds. Nice. So it closes, so I continue putting the rest of the screws in. Perfect. And just to give you a little view here. Right now I'm going to use the number 10 countersink. I'm just going to pre-drill my pilot hole here. So I can mount it to the coop. Put our level. make our other connections yeah that was um chicken little that went in there she's just being nosy right now now let's go ahead and connect our solar panel pole connects right there then here you can adjust it to what suits you best and you do have the option of staking this into the ground they also provide you the stake, so all you have to do is just push it in. Now you can stake it to the ground. But in our situation, we need to hang it. So let me go ahead and disconnect this part, because we're going to mount this to our chicken coop. And I'll be mounting the display screen right here on the side. This way it's easy for me to just change any settings if I need to. But for now, I'll just be using the light sensor. And I'm gonna go ahead and mount the solar panel up in the top corner there. Also, before you mount your solar panel, make sure that you close this little tab here so water doesn't get in there. As for the extra wire, what I'm going to do is just get some tie mounts and then I'll secure a lot better than this. Okay.
here's how it looks with our cable mounts it's also holding on to our extra length of cable so it's nice and secure there that's not going nowhere it's looking good Well, there you have it. That's my instruction and installation video of my automatic chicken coop door by Farm Poultry Gear. And as you can see, it is a cloudy day. And our display screen is still fully charged. Also, this morning, sunrise was at 6.55. When I came outside, the chicken coop door was already open. And I'm glad for that because I have one hand that she's the early bird. And she's gonna appreciate that that she doesn't have to wait for me anymore and that lets me know that the photoreceptor on the display screen is doing a great job I am very happy with this automatic chicken coop door I hope this video helps someone out there and I'll leave a link in the description at the bottom of this exact automatic chicken coop door and if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up thank you for watching like and subscribe hit that bell icon and I'll see you on the next one